what's up fellow lords of gaming and welcome back to the channel so we're jumping right back into some marvel future fight content specifically the sweet february event and how sweet it is to be loved by mystique and the goblin queen madeline prior so right up here in the banner you'll notice the uh you can just be redirected because there's no event mission down below but we have like the missions and the bonus mission down here you can see what the daily mission re requirements are fairly easy craft uh, upgrade enhance comic upgrade uh, upgrade comic cards and combine uru uh basically in there so you can receive your daily candy and then you'll get your gift info and it's it's not a whole lot anyways inside there then you have the achievement mission so that way you can receive the special icon sparkling ice heart for uh luna snow and that one's also not that difficult um i typically clear about 40 missions um, a day for dimension missions and then i participate in timeline battle maybe like two to, uh, 20 times a day because of like the shield support package uh and then combining story fragments might be the hardest one but i've been warning you guys <laughs> i have been warning you guys to participate in, in in story world so hopefully you've got some fragments built up and you can uh you can do these um shouldn't be too difficult though it's only asking you to complete them 10 times you can see i left the game running overnight and it accounted for the 100 uh other world battles that i ran or the 300 other world battles i ran um and then finally the mission uh the bonus mission inside of here so we've got f essentially 13 14 days for the event so you definitely want to make sure that you are logging in every day because it basically means you can only miss about three days uh, since we only can clear the world boss five times a day, it would be nice if they would increase that instead. So that way we have more chances at uh, some of the tier four tier four materials. And that keeps us in game as well. This is probably the easiest method. It also pushes us to build more characters. So I don't know why they still haven't changed this instead of being five to ten times a day. It'd be really, really nice to be able to do world boss legend uh you know 10 times a day be able to get after those rewards for tier four and tier three materials to get after these characters and also incentivize us to you know build out bigger rosters because you know you can only use the characters once but you know whatever um so don't forget this is probably the better of the events that are that they're currently offering in the game the still event quest right here for um you know the event shop is here madeline Pryor receives her tier four um inside of the update so unless you happen to get lucky or you are planning on pulling you're definitely going to want to have those 500 icons or you know tokens to be used to grab madeline Pryor's. uh you know four star artifact inside of here which is going to provide you the immortal effect trust me that's probably not going to be something you want to miss out on so definitely go inside there now you know in terms of her uh tier four it, it doesn't really appear to be like <sighs> it's definitely different i will say that much uh basically inside her tier four you're going to basically get another piece of recovery effect on her so she's going to recover hp equal to 10 percent of her damage dealt and then up to a max of 10 uh up to a up to a 10 percent of max hp at once so that's like it's it's when you pair that with that tier four artifact if you're lucky enough to get it at six this could be very very good not to mention the all basic attack increase for the 100 percent um it looks really good because basically you know when that tier four triggers basically she's just upping up her scale she also has the immortal effect from the artifact and so getting her down to those numbers is going to be difficult um she doesn't have a bad kit overall in the first place so if you were to go in and look at look at madeline prior her skill set you know the the kit is set for her to be a pvp beast she gets a nice 25 percent hp recovery on a two skill which is really really nice um she gets another 20 percent recovery uh hp on a four skill so you're basically looking at 40 percent uh you know 45 percent hp and then looking at an additional 10 percent of the hp recovery from damage dealt and up to 10 percent of the max hp at once so that's like you're looking at almost 50 percent of reco hp recovery on just this character coming in at you know just where you should be in the rotation anyways if you're playing on playing her she's looking to probably be a nice pvp powerhouse the equivalency of gene gray if uh well i doubt better but so take a look at the character overall and then we get mystique finally with her tier four and that's what i want to be 
pay particular attention to. This uniform was absolutely lovely. Uh, well, excuse me, it wasn't a uniform. This was a base look. I was actually surprised about the fact that Mystique hadn't received a uniform in all this time. And God damn, was she boba out on this one. Like, <laughs> they stacked her in this one. And to be honest with you, I, I still like this uniform better than I do uh, the new Hellfire, Hellfire Gala uniform. I mean, they, they missed out on some areas where I think they could have added more detail, but the Hellfire Gala uniform is now available in the shop. All X-Men uniforms are gonna be 40% uh, off with this update. Um, like, I, it's not that I mind this uniform. It's not a bad looking uniform at all. Clearly they've put some work into the detail of the chains and stuff like that. I feel like there could have been more detail done with her overall body skin um, in terms of detail and texture, but it's not a bad looking uniform. So it is what it is, right? Like um, you're either going to purchase or not. Now, like I said, the, it, it's kind of hard not to suggest that you pick up these characters, um, particularly because of the fact that uh, for both of them in the blast supervillain category and the speed supervillain category, specifically females, you're dealing with a very limited character range. So these two characters, they're going to be meta. It's almost like putting, you know, the update basically introduced meta characters by default because you didn't really have combat speed or blast uh, female characters that were going to carry these, uh, those, those uh, specific um, subs. So these are meta characters and they're probably going to hold on to those meta character slots for some time so just pay attention to that because it, it is there so let's take a look at leveling up mystique oh no i forgot mystique is a paywalled character oh no so I did forget about this and I mentioned this in uh, my previous video. So Mystique has to be, if you don't have Mystique for new players, Mystique's bios have to be purchased over here inside the shop. Oh. So that makes this update really expensive again, right? So there is a discount inside here. Basically, you know, you can see you get 160 Mystique components basically for a thousand. I highly suggest not doing that. Um, I've, I've, I've said this before and I don't even know if it's worth me doing it, uh, to be perfectly honest, but let's take a look at her real quick again, back to her uniform. So essentially like if you go inside Mystique and I could take a look at her details, you notice that for everything except for the cooldown duration, I am already maxed out. And this is the part that I'll continue to, to belabor the point. Um, nobody will hear me really, but it's a point to be made of the lessened value of the uniforms outside of their new skill animations, the VFX, and um, you know, the optimizations that come along with the characters. Because when you get down to the brass tacks of it, basically one part that we used to look forward to with the uniform, uh, being able to get the uniform, were the uniform options. Essentially with the uniform options inside of the game, you were essentially able to hit uh, some of these stats, crit rates, you know, dodge your HPs, uh, things like that with your uniform options inside the game and, you know, hit those caps because they were harder to reach and at some point for some characters, especially on base level uniforms. But now where the game stands uh, with all the varying methods that you have to basically hit these caps, you don't need those uniform options anymore. So uniform options have basically taken a tank in terms of needing to hack crit rate, needing to hit uh, dodge, needing to hit uh, like some of those things. And mostly now you can use those uniform options to bolster your physical or your energy attack and then your HPs inside there instead, because the odds that you're not capable um, after you start building up your account to hit these numbers and these values don't really make sense. Now, Mystique is going to probably be a speed tier four that I think most people will, will end up using. So like if you were to come uh, to just sort out the skills inside here, take a look at uh, soup. We'll just take a look at speed, super villain, and we'll look at, uh, we'll just say all characters. So this is your super villain list that you currently have in game, right? So Craven is more than likely probably going to receive a tier four in the future because his movie's coming out in October. So you could particularly probably see Craven getting a tier four inside the game. I'm going to imagine at some point with the popularity of the character, we're going to see an update for Green Goblin where he'll probably essentially receive a tier four as well. Why he hasn't already makes no sense, but he hasn't. Um, but then you look at the other characters inside this pool 
and short of maybe bullseye and even him i find it hard to believe you know him getting his tier four um it's not a very good list of characters who are in the speed type supervillain faction that looked poised to essentially get a tier four maybe spot you know we we know that we're going to get the uh cross the spider verse uh sequel and maybe he gets it you know but realistically you still have her in the speed uh supervillain female category and so it's not a very it's not a very stacked category to fill out so she's probably going to be a t4 that you know if you're looking to fill out your roster of having characters across you know um across a, not abilities across your uh fil your elements inside the game your types um then she probably suits that need and in that regard i would suggest you know if you're gonna go for the uniform inside here build her out to tier four you know you're definitely gonna want to upgrade her i would try to look more probably for upgrade ticket inside the game than i would um anything else but we'll we'll, ha we'll end up having to take a look at that what i want to look at right now though is her change skills because i have already looked at them um to be honest and i thought they were pretty good now <laughs> it only like her irks me that the fact that like the detail really isn't there still even when you have her in screen right there i mean some like little butt physics over here right but let's take a look at the skills anyways let's turn off the school cool down display so let's take a look at her one skill you know what let's just go right into the practice combo so that way i can just see what the hits are going to be on one target so we hit the one skill over here not a whole lot of damage but there's not a whole lot on that skill anyways like that's just true for the matter i mean you're basically just using that for the stun and silence her two skill though does have the um the appearance copy so that was previously on her third skill so you can see there she changed into the character if if not ever so briefly i don't I don't know that this is necessarily something that you need to roll into but you know just for that appearance copy on there but it does have the decreased recovery effect on it so maybe you know she copies the characters the, the character that's on screen it'll be interesting to see how she plays with some other characters so anyways so let's take a look at her third ability this is where the damage accumulation happens and she's got essentially you know some decent there's some decentness there. Combat sense wise, we just way on there still. So three inside of there, nice iframe effects on there, a little turn away pose at you at the end. It looks like a really cool skill, um, but I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. Where have I seen it before? Her fourth skill, uh, decent hits on her fourth skill overall, like especially getting that rain down over there i feel like that's going to end up being the cancellation effect to get all of the damage on it is basic yeah see if you cancel out of it prior to that shot you're basically losing all of the damage that comes from the end over there so you're gonna have to wait for her to start the fire it looks like let's see this again four she does the hit and then she does a shot and everything rains down but if you do that four skill which is a really long animation skill and you miss out on waiting for her to take that shot then you're not going to do it so let's see what this combo looks like inside here so the combo is two delay cancel three and it goes right into four and then almost right into okay two three four five okay i kind of messed that up so <laughs> reset it i'm over here playing like three rl so we're going to go two delay cancel four and then i messed it up again because and i know that i'm waiting <clears throat> Jesus Christ, it's like I just want to press the buttons. Two, three, four, delay, and then five. Yeah, so you, you have to wait that four skill basically until she actually turns, you know, starts to shoot in the sky, which is kind of hard to see amidst all that animation. So two, three, four, wait for it till she jumps back and you can see the shots and then you can actually go so it's like a three second delay almost so it's gonna make her really hard to play with inside there so nice damage on the skills wait cancel out of that excuse me i wanted to go over here and take a look at her tier that's the animation not bad you know it's you know decent enough rotation and then she has her you know transcendent skill that we had from before so it's in it's in there overall though i have to say like the skills look cool she basically you know mimics psylocke inside of here decent enough skills like you, you really can't complain about the character kit and the way that it looks um yeah you know like it's nice i'm not gonna i, I won't complain about it. it it's a nice kit for the character overall 
the question is going to really be where she where does she really have um viability inside here it definitely looks like at you know at a tier four she would still have um this is a pve character so they're, they've definitely offered you a pve character and a pvp character inside of here so it's going to be really dependent upon you which one is uh is more needed inside of your roster if if you know all bets for me is going to be that you know mystique uh it is going to be the lesser value of the two characters at at most what you most players were using her for previously was for the uh pass uh perfect perfect deception uh, pa uh passive on her skill but i will say that her kit overall now does make her look like she is actually a good pve character it's going to basically bear down to whether or not you feel like she's a support type character because her leadership is not it ain't it right you know what i mean like that leadership ain't really jumping at anybody to rock with that i mean it's a nice leadership for herself so if you want to put her in that role then you know I guess, well you know what i guess I guess at an increase all basic attacks by 45 and then she also gets the all allies she could be a really rocking you know rocking uh super villain you know female so I, yeah it, it, let me know what you feel in the comment section below i know for me because of the short supply of materials for um for 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 characters that we basically have in the game to get to tier four since they seem to be so unwilling to increase these numbers and trust me, 8,928 ain't a lot, like in terms of, you know, your uh, souls of the fault teen or your life seeds, especially your carbonadium um, is for characters that might have limited value for you. Um, I think there's probably more value inside of Madeline Pryor because I think that she will become a staple PvP character, especially when Jean is probably out. Uh, she's just going to probably be a staple character. So if you play Otherworld Battle or you play Timeline Battle and you're looking towards those crystal rewards um, to help your free-to-play account, you're really realistically probably going to need it. So um, I think the option basically there between those two characters, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I think it's a, it, it's a very soft up update uh mid month not a whole lot going on i think people were hoping for more than this uh and they probably aren't going to receive it so sorry to those guys but you know it seems like we're getting less um in terms of the updates that they're bringing to us you let me know what you guys think in the comment section below until next time peace